to the southeast of Eriski, near Boerwoodi, the shallow waters and fast tidal currents create ideal conditions for merle, an unusual and slow-growing coralline seaweed. Beds of merle are one of the most remarkable inshore habitats, and the Sound of Barra has some of the best examples of their kind in Britain. This beautiful pink and purple carpet is made up of thousands upon thousands of individual twiglet-like nodules of seaweed. Unlike other seaweeds, merle grows loose and unattached to the seabed and has a hard, brittle skeleton made of calcium carbonate. Merle needs sunlight to photosynthesize and thrives in the clear, shallow waters of the sound. Here, the merle forms a complex three-dimensional world that supports a particularly diverse and abundant range of wildlife. Animals such as brittle stars, crabs and tube-dwelling anemones thrive here. Merle is also a valuable nursery habitat for some commercially important species such as cod and scallops. Tiny juvenile scallops favour merle as a place to settle. Studies have shown there to be more than three and a half times as many young scallops on high quality merle beds as there are on other types of suitable seabed. From these nursery grounds, a steady supply of adult scallops migrate into the surrounding seas, boosting potential catches and ensuring a healthy and sustainable population. Some merle beds are estimated to be up to 8,000 years old and can be several metres thick. The growth of each nodule is slow, typically less than one millimetre a year, which, combined with its fragile nature, means that they are highly susceptible to physical disturbance and smothering from dredges, moorings and other pressures. Recovery times are extremely long, with damaged areas likely to take several decades to return to health. As we develop our knowledge of merle and understand more about its importance for marine life, it seems certain that careful management would benefit both fisheries and wildlife. <laughs>